Hello, dear friend. Um, anybody who knows my story, my daughter, mine, my daughter's, uh, knows that I was left with my, you know, with my daughter. I was, we were abandoned last year by my former husband. Um, just suddenly, out of the blue, didn't know he was going. <clears throat> and that put us in a world of hardship. Well, I ended up writing this wonderful book called Poverty Revolution, Part One, Skimming the Surface, with poetry in there and commentaries about things that had happened in my life, things I, I was going through, things that, um, you know, where I wanted to go in life. So it was not just all bad, it was encouraging, inspiring, motivating as well. I don't want people to shy away from the book. It's a wonderful book, of course I'm biased. It's a wonderful book that will inspire and bring people to that point where they'll realize that they, are so, they should be thankful for everything that they have. Anyway, last year I did a poem from that book called Personal State of Emergency. And that was while we were right in the midst of it, I wrote that. But I have a response back to that one. You see, a year has passed, and certainly we are um, feeling better without him in our lives. So I wanted to write this, <clears throat> and this is called, I, I actually wrote this November 14th, 2009. So not even a year. And we were already feeling better without him. So I just want to say, this is kind of my final farewell, my culmination of that former relationship. If, any, if there was any doubts, I think this puts uh, that at bay. This is called The Last Laugh. We are better off by far now than we were eight months ago. Before you left us to fall, you thought I'd never amount to much, but these few months I've given my all, and I will have the last laugh. You thought we couldn't make it when you left us suddenly. You didn't even think twice, but did a disappearing act, not even regarding the price, and I will have the last laugh. We are, he we are headed towards a better life than we could have had with you. Maybe you did us a huge favor in a roundabout, underhanded way. But now we have the rest of our lives to savor, and I will have the last laugh as my anger ebbs and every memory of you fades away. I wrote that again November 14, 2009, which was actually, let me see, he left in March. March, April, April, May, May, June, June, July, July, August, August, September, September, October, October, October. Okay, eight months after he had left, I was writing that. I wrote that. And that's how I felt. I felt like already we were better off than than we had been with, with him, and that there were goals and dreams that we could achieve. Because um, when I was with him, I felt, <clears throat> well, I was not able to emerge into who I am, who I, who, my, who I am becoming. And I think that that's an important thing. You know, once the caterpillar possibly coming toward being a butterfly, and I kind of see my life metamorphosing that, like, like that. So, hopefully, you know, we'll see where the next eight months go. But my time is ticking in that, um, as part of my diary too, I'm going to have to tell you that Sometime next month, we have to move from here. 
I can't stay here much longer. And we don't have a whole lot of good options. Um, in fact, right now, we, we have no, no options on the table. So if something is going to come aboard for me, it really needs to come aboard quickly. Um, I told somebody I needed a miracle, and I really do. My daughter and I, in, in next month, are going to need some place to go to. And I don't have parents to go to, and I don't have any brothers and sisters. So, you have my contact information. Seriously, if you like my poetry, if somebody wants to develop me as a writer, hey, cool. People who have seen also my singing, you know, if you know of someone who can develop that, take where I'm at and work with me. Appreciate that. I guess I'm asking for a mentor. Thank you.